Hi, I'm Laura Camacho, the CEO and founder of Mixonian Institute. This is not my real hair and it's not a Halloween costume. I'm here to talk to you about edgy conversations. And I was inspired by this great article put out by Decker Communications out in San Francisco this week. They put out an article called uh, Great Messaging is Edgy and they were so right. And what does it mean to be edgy? Edgy is to go to the edges, the outside edges of what is normal or what is expected. So it's always surprising. However, it, there's risk. For example, I'm running the risk that you are thinking anybody that does this kind of video about communication with a blue wig on is ridiculous and shut it off. And that's fine. So that, that's why people are afraid of edginess. But it's very handy when you have a message that people you think are going to overlook or not listen to. So what's one example of an edgy message? Uh, I wrote about this last year, Chip Gaines, in the second season of Fixer Upper, in one of the episodes, referred to a room. He said if a funeral parlor and a cinema had a baby, it would be this room. Very memorable, very edgy to talk about a funeral parlor about in a home decorating uh, show and very memorable very effective and given that it was for TV I don't think he came up with that on the spot although he could have uh, so sometimes it takes time to think of really good metaphors and metaphors are your power tool for edgy conversations um, another example comes from my mentor a screenwriter and business strategist Melissa Casera and you can visit her website to check out this article I'm going to reference. It was from September 21st of this year, and it's called What You Need to Do to Do Your Best Work. And essentially, it's an article about taking responsibility for the way you do your work. And if I were to say, hey, are you responsible for the way you do your work? And you'd be like, duh, of course I am. Get out of here. But she took a brilliant approach and talks about celebrity writers. Now, a celebrity writer is a contract between the celebrity and the venue that specifies things, specific things that the celebrity needs or requires. And the most famous example you may have heard of, this was years ago, Van Halen uh, would put in the middle of pages and pages of technical requirements that they wanted a bowl of M&Ms with no brown M&Ms placed in a certain location. It was just genius because then the band, they just had to go see if that bowl of M&M's was in the right place and then they would know whether the people had actually read all the technical specifications. Uh, Justin Bieber, if you didn't know, he requires a helicopter and a limo to be on call and he, a lot of purple carnations and you know you can read the article for other examples and our typical reaction is to say that is so ridiculous. What's their problem? But you know what? If you're a celebrity, you have a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of pressure on you to perform. So these people, in their minds, ask for these things in their writers to help them perform at their best. So Melissa is saying, hey, reader, what do you need to perform at your best? Like eight hours of sleep, or maybe eight and a half, or working out, or eating a certain way. Those are things uh, that that was her edgy message to compare an entrepreneur because her audience is business owners uh, to celebrities. So I'm going to challenge you when the next time you have to give a presentation or have a conversation about something that, you know, you, you're worried that they're not really going to listen to you. Think about an edge. How can you add an edge to it? You don't need necessarily a blue wig, although it might work. But think about it, a, a crazy metaphor or just use your imagination. And if you want help with this, contact me at Mixonian. That's Laura at Mixonian.com. And have a great day. See you soon.